Hello so, everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing really well. You know what it's time for? It's time for my monthly favourites. February's bleh, bleh. <laughs> February. Feb It's time for February's favourites. There you go. That soon came round, didn't it? February flew by. Absolutely flew by. Um, it's a shorter month, isn't it? I guess that's why. So, I've done my normal thing when I'm going to film a favourites video. I sit there and I get in the zone. <laughs> I get in the zone of Julie. What did you enjoy in February? You see, I can say it all right now. Or maybe I'm not saying it right. I need to say it with you. Ah, February. I got in the zone, um, thought about what I enjoyed throughout the month. And they're here. I like to keep these monthly favourites real, the things that I genuinely do enjoy. Um, you know, I could just go and pick things up and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to do that. I want to keep it um, really real. So it's like these, these favourite videos are like, you know, a bit of me. They're me, what I enjoy. And I enjoy filming them. So, and I always get as well loads of messages saying, where's the favourites? Where's the monthly favourites? So I know you enjoy them too. So, without further ado, let's get into February's favourites. We'll start with a book. I like to start with a book. Um, I've always got a book on the go. Love reading, as you know. Um, and this one is Ace. Oh my God, it is so good. Do no harm. If you've read it, leave a comment, let me know. If you've read it, you will know what I mean. It is so, so good. I am a good halfway through. I'm actually on part two of the book. Um, the book, obviously, I found out last night comes in two parts. So I'm going to start part two of the book tonight. Oh, God, it is amazing. If you like your thrillers, um, it, this is for you. I'll read the stuff on the back. Um, my child has been taken and I've been given a choice. Kill a patient on the operating table or lose my son forever. The man lies in front of me. As a surgeon it's my job to save him. As a mother I know I must kill him. You might think that I'm a monster but there really is only one choice. I must get away with murder or never see my son again. I've saved many lives. Would you trust me with yours? So good. And I love the way um, that it's wrote. Each um, each character has like their own chapters, which I like that style of book. Um, it's done in time, um, which at the start of like each chapter, it's a different um, time of day, which I like also. Um, I'll tell you some of the reviews. Um, brilliant, relentlessly tense. Fans of The Silent Patient and The Woman in the Window will love it. Now, I've read The Silent Patient. I will get my words out today. I have read The Silent Patient and that was amazing. Um, and it is, I guess, along, yeah, fans of it will love this. I haven't read The Woman in the Window, though. Um, that sounds intriguing. Um, it says gripping, addictive. Um, it is. It's really good. I mean, I could, if I didn't, I mean, I tend to read at night um, before I go to sleep. It relaxes me, it, you know, winds my brain down. Um, and obviously, if I wasn't, like, so tired, then I probably, to be honest, could have read this in a couple of sittings. Um, it's that type of book. So, totally recommend this. Been reading this throughout February. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm going to finish it pretty soon. Totally recommend this. Amazing book. Okay, first favourite. Second, oh, let's do, let's do these, something a bit different. Now, this is something that, now I use, if I tell you what it is first, then that helps, doesn't it? Um, my tarot cards. Um, my tarot cards in this lovely bag, which I bought at Aflex in Manchester when we recently went up to Manchester. Um, and I was on the lookout actually for a tarot bag to keep my cards in. 
um, and just hadn't really seen one. But then as soon as I saw this, the picture on the front is one of the major arcanas of the tarot. If there's any tarot readers out there, if there's any like, you know, if you're into your tarot, again, drop comments below because I, I'm so interested in it. Now, I used to have some tarot cards. We are going back a long, long, long time ago. Like, well, 20 odd years ago. And and then sort of life happens, I forgot all about tarot, um, never really give them much thought. And then sort of quite recently I've got into them and remembered how much I actually do love them. Now, I am no tarot reader by any stretch of the imagination. Um, obviously the ones that I got um, did come with the book. I generally know, so you've got the major arcanas of the tarot and then you've got the other cards. Basically know the type of meaning of each card, but tarot reading is not as simple as that. It's, it involves a lot of intuition. It involves um, really knowing the cards, really being able to read the spread. Um, and I'm not there with that yet. Um, but I do enjoy. Now, I so far, um, I gave myself a reading in February. Um, so I done my reading in my office, um, lit a candle, um, done the, I done a nine card spread, um, and I really enjoyed that. Thought to myself, I thought, right, I'll do a tarot card reading for myself, um, once a month. No more than that. I don't think really that's necessary for me. Um, but apparently there's lots of like... There's lots of like different opinions on it. You should never do the tarot for yourself. You should certainly never do the tarot more than um, somebody did say to me, Not don't do it more than twice a year for yourself. Um, there's so many different opinions on the tarot. I am going to keep to doing a reading for myself once a month. So I done this in February and I absolutely loved it. And it just, it reminds me of how much I absolutely love the tarot. I love the, um, do I believe in it? I 100% believe in the tarot. It's such a special energy um i think it's an energy that shouldn't be um you know they should be taken seriously i think um it's not something to just play about with i don't think in loving the tarot um watching because i'm a capricorn so watching um youtube videos of capricorn tarot readings but obviously they're general readings um, so they're not going to resonate with everybody, that would be impossible. So um, I like the idea of having my own tarot and doing a reading for myself. It seems more of a personal reading. So absolutely love them in February and I will continue to do um, my own reading each month. Next favourite in February, tulips. Love me some tulips. Um, such pretty spring flowers. So, so affordable. I get mine, nine times out of ten, I get my tulips from um, Aldi. They're about £2.49 for a small bunch, or a little bit more expensive for a bigger bunch, and I'll split them into two vases. Um, one vase on the kitchen table and one on the windowsill, and they just make me happy. Tulips make me happy. Um, just absolutely love them. It's a, I think it's quite an affordable way of, of you know, making yourself happy. Um, fresh flowers really make me happy and I have been loving tulips throughout February and will continue to do so for the next, you know, month or so. So absolutely love my tulips. And on the same vein as tulips, a cleaning product. Loved this in February. It is the News Flora. Um, it is the Tulip and Peach Blossom Limited Edition. This is lovely. This is really, really pretty nice and fresh nice and spring-like scent after all them heavy christmas scents um it's a really lovely smell so i use this like um every night on the worktops in the kitchen when i've cleared up after dinner um i use it in the sink i use it every and it leaves such a lovely lovely smell um i've also got the one that you dilute also um for like when i do a deeper clean in this scent also i got mine from b&m um, and yeah, really, really lovely scent for the Sephora. So next, a perfume. Now, this one was quite like a late February favourite. I got it quite late in the month, but I thought this has still got to be in my monthly favourites because I absolutely love it. Um, I got this from Marks and Spencers. It's from the Autograph range. I absolutely love the bottle anyway. Um, 
it's such a nice simple bottle i like that style of perfume bottles anyway and it is in the scent fired sandalwood oh my god it's amazing um i actually got mine um m s have got a sale on and it's meant to be 15 which is such a good price for a great big bottle like that and i got it for nine pounds um and it is lovely it is such a lovely light daytime scent and i have noticed with this one i'm going to put a bit more on and i've noticed with this one it lasts longer um i bought a couple of marks and spencer's perfumes before and although the smell was lovely they just didn't last um this lasts um it's lovely so this is fired sandalwood it's a lovely daytime light it's not heavy it's not heavy at all it's not heavy at all it's lovely it is really really lovely it's quite warm but warm in a way that i think totally suitable for spring if you know what i mean um it's absolutely lovely um so i have been wearing this constantly since i got it which was about the last week of february and will continue to do so so highly recommend this perfume if you're after a light everyday perfume um and such a fab price okay we have three more items now this one have loved this throughout february um i maybe did have it i feel in january i don't i think i probably got it but i never showed it in my Feb in my um january favorites i feel so um i've always been a big fan of um having um eyeliner just above my lashes um i've always used the charlotte tilbury feline flick and i've always used it in black um and that's been fine um but then i feel as i'm getting older um i probably wanted something a bit softer so i thought i'm gonna try the brown um i'm gonna try the brown liner in feline flick so i don't know if you're gonna if the camera's gonna pick it up so i always put a line above my lashes i don't know if you can see the brown um that I've got there and I absolutely love it I am so glad I decided to try the brown and get rid of the black for me um it gives a much softer look um it suits my eye color <clears throat> I can't recommend this liquid eyeliner enough I know there's so many out there so many different liquid eyeliners and obviously it's not the cheapest it's Charlotte Tilbury nothing's really cheap from Charlotte Tilbury but to me it's definitely worth it the pen is very you can see it's very very precision pen um really easy it doesn't smudge um very easy to apply um and i absolutely love the brown in it so definite definite february favorite next nail color what's a monthly favorites without a nail color you know i'm obsessed with nail colors definitely barry m and what i'm going to show you is the one i have on today been wearing this one lots in february and is a nice pretty springtime pink and this one is called i didn't bring my glasses up breezy blush it's really really pretty um as you can see sometimes you don't want something too bright you don't want something too dark you just want something quite neutral um and this is really lovely so i've been wearing this on my nails an awful lot um throughout february and it's also in the um in a flash range which dries in literally a couple of minutes which is ideal for me um they've made the range in a flash a lot bigger a lot more shades have come out which i'm so pleased about um so absolutely love that one and then we have one last february favorite it's very it's a very basic one it's a very accessible one but i tell you what i was really impressed okay yeah you think julie it's a dove body wash yeah yeah, it's a dub body wash, but the reason I'm showing it and I was so impressed is because, okay, I actually picked a new body wash up. I picked this up to go up to Manchester. Um, and the first morning um, when I had a shower and I used it, I was blown away. <laughs> I was blown away by, first of all, the smell of this one. It is literally probably... If you smelt it, you'll know what I mean. It's probably one of the cleanest, freshest, virgin on clean washing smell, um, shower gels, body wash that I have ever smelled. And I was like, it is amazing. I mean, 
it's so cheap isn't it i think this was like one pound fifty one ninety nine something like that um it's the gentle scrub so it's got some exfoliant in it also um exfoliating minerals in it um it doesn't actually say the scent but i tell you what it is absolutely i will re repurchase this um it is so nice it leaves your skin so soft i hadn't used dove body washes for such a long time and i picked up a couple while i was in there actually i picked up this one then i picked up um and if i remember correctly there wasn't i think there was like a couple of bottles of this left there wasn't many left at all and after using it i can see why and the smell honestly the smell is so clean so fresh and like i say really virgin on clean washing if you like that sort of thing you know you'll love it um and it's also got the underlying dove smell also um I have, is it the i'm gonna have to sniff it again it is lovely i'm gonna be repurchasing this um and also as well bonus it's got the exfoliant in it as well so i've loved that in february um and yeah i will buy again i got this from boots like i said i think it's 152 pounds such a cheap body wash and it lasts so they are february's favorites that's it february's gone of course next up will be march hope you enjoyed um and of course i will see you very very soon for another video bye <laughs>